Hey guys, it's Kat, and today I'm going to be making um, just this quick little tutorial on this ring that I made a couple of weeks ago for Creativation. Um, I got a couple of questions on Instagram about it, and so today I'm going to make a pendant instead of a ring, but it's the same process. First I added some polymer clay to the bezel. I just rolled out some polymer clay, uh, created a flat surface, embedded the uh, bezel upside down, and then just removed the excess with the roller. Add some tape to the bottom of the bezel. This way it doesn't move around while you're adding the design. The screen printing kit came with multiple designs as well as the paint and the scraper. Once I selected a design, I just pressed it gently into the clay and then added some paint and used the scraper to slide it across um, the bezel, adding the design. Be sure to clean the screen with a baby wipe when you're done, as well as the edges of the bezel. Next, mix up a batch of Amazing Clearcast. It comes in a part A and part B. Here, I'm just combining the two parts, and then I'm going to mix it thoroughly for about two minutes. Uh, making sure that I scrape the sides of the cup so that I mix it all uh, really well. And then I let it sit for an additional two minutes before I use it. Instead of pouring the resin onto the polymer clay, I prefer to use a popsicle stick. I'll add some to the center of the bezel and then push it outward with the popsicle stick. It gives me a little bit more control. Allow the resin to cure 24 hours. Next, I picked out some rub-ons and I added them to the top layer of that resin. Once I was finished with that, I mixed up one last batch of Amazing Clearcast and then I placed it on top of the rub-ons. The only difference between the bezels and the ring that I made for Creativation is that I added some chain to the inside of the bezel. Everything else is the same. You can use any acrylic paint over the screens. Um, here I used a red acrylic paint on a bezel that has a screw on the back and so I turned it into a cuff. Someone asked me on Instagram if I needed to bake the clay before I added the resin. In all of my projects, I did not bake the clay, and I didn't have any problems, so that's up to you. You can, of course, bake the clay in a toaster oven designated for polymer clay, or you can just leave it as is. All of the jewelry components in this tutorial come from www.nundesign.com. Thanks for watching. For the complete list of materials used in this tutorial, check out the description below.